the English county of West Sussex is the home of lawnmower racing. The sport began in 1973 when a group of motoring enthusiasts, unhappy with the rising costs associated with motor racing, decided to invent a sport where money had little influence on the result. Nowadays, there's a full racing calendar in Britain with the national championships and a highlight of the UK season is the annual 12-hour race in the village of Wisborough Green. Race organiser Mark Jaffa. 12 hours of racing, three drivers to a team. It tests both the stamina of the uh, riders and drivers uh, as well as the machine itself. It's 12 hours long, starts at 8 o'clock at night and goes on till 8 o'clock in the morning. So three quarters of the race is actually in darkness. The favourites to win this year were team number one, Northerners Kick Grass. They've dominated this event in recent years, taking home the title for the last four seasons. Team captain, Darren Whitehead. We're going to go flat out from the start. I know that the Luxembourg guys have qualified on pole. They're just under a second ahead on fastest time. I think race pace is very close. Um, I think it'll be touch and go all night, but we're going flat out from the start, push everything to the limit. And we'll, we'll see what happens. What will be, will be. The Formula One legend Sterling Moss and five-time Le Mans winner Derek Bell won the first ever 12-hour race back in 1978. These days, the riders may not be household names, but the event still pulls in large crowds and competitors from far and wide. This year saw teams travel from across Europe to compete. Andreas Michel made the journey from Germany to take part. We have a local race in our hometown, more or less, and um, we are, this race is since 14 years now, and uh, some of us participate already since 10 years or more, and uh, some a little less, and uh, we have created this new team four years ago for the first 24-hour race that we made together in France, and since that time we are traveling to races abroad to participate in these races and England was a new adventure for us. <laughs> With inclement weather in the week leading up to the event, the track was in less than ideal condition. Andy Rostron is a veteran of the 12-hour race. This track will find out any weak points on the mower, no doubt about it. Uh, it's very soft in places, uh, it's uh, sapping the engine power. Um, so it's, it's difficult, it's quite bumpy and rutted already, so it's only going to get worse. So it's going to be a, a bit of a trial for everybody, I think, tonight. As the sun set, 51 teams started out to complete as many laps of the 1.4-kilometre track as they could. The format of the race is similar to that of the 24-hour Le Mans race. Each driver spends roughly an hour on the mower before coming in to change over and refuel. The testing track this year caused the team's problems and running repairs were needed throughout the race. A bit of a problem with the lights, uh, the, bonnet, uh, the bonnet hinge just snapped and uh, shorted the, the wiring out, so we lost the lights, we managed to fix that. Um, then we had the major problem was when it set on fire. I came around the bottom corner and flames come out of the side of the bonnet, out to where the petrol tank is. And uh, fortunately some guys came running across with a fire extinguisher, put it out, I jumped off quick. And yeah, we managed to get it back to the pits, uh, we found out what it was. Uh, we've done a bit of rewiring, fortunately the petrol tank's OK and uh, we're up and running again. Northerners kicked grass, managed to take the lead early on and they were determined to hold on to their advantage. 10 to 5 in the morning, we've got 3 hours 10 minutes to go. I think we're about 8 laps in front. Um, fingers crossed, tails crossed, arms crossed, everything's crossed. It just seems to be falling our way at the minute, but it's a um, little too early to count your chicken, so we'll, uh, we'll keep pushing on and we'll see what happens at the end. 
Darren Whitehead and his team went on to win the race for the fifth year in a row. They completed 363 laps, four laps more than the team from Luxembourg, who'd qualified on pole position and ended up coming home in second place. This one was definitely the toughest one of the five that we've won. The conditions were really power slapping. You never got a rest. The track was brutal. We broke the motor, the engine actually uh, fell off, broke off about half an hour to go, so we had a quick budge repair and it broke again with about five minutes to go, so we're very, very lucky just to even cross the line. It's a good job it wasn't an hour early, otherwise we would have been in serious trouble.